Hi, I'm Joshua Kimball, and this is my vlog, my vloggins. And uh, this morning I had some productivity, I got a lot done. Uh, who am I? I'm an illustrator, graphic designer, and cartoonist. Uh, I've been in the industry for over uh, 15 years. And um, today I was basically trying to get a little further on a pitch project that I'm doing with my sister for my literary agent. And I did manage to get uh, a panel penciled, so I'll show you that and talk a little bit about the process. And then um, also I managed to track some vocals for the short like one minute segment of the song that I started, uh, the third song for my little solo album project for fun. So. Let me show you all of those things First, now. First, let's start with the song since it's less uh, less time consuming and then I'll show you uh, the process video of me um, penciling uh, the final panel for one of the panels for my pitch project and talk you through it and talk about a little bit about the process. You wrote in visions of the future I planned Wrong turn taken so we drove into a wasteland and all these maps we bought are useless because we forgot A country without borders makes useless the wars we fought Decoding symbols of the things that we've seen Iconoclastic means to keep the people in a dream They bought the land we got with empty promises and blood They took the marrow from the bones they bury in the mud Eroding visions, I can't tell what I'm seeing Eroding visions, I can't tell what I'm seeing And all these maps we bought are useless because we forgot And all these maps we bought are useless because we forgot So I'm happy with how that song came out and now I'm basically focusing on getting a panel completed for page four of a five-page pitch project that my sister uh, wrote a script. I've blocked out all the lettering. That's what that magenta is. And so here I'm basically not doing anything like super unique. It's actually like um, what you're seeing below is a blue line layer where I use just the pencil tool in Photoshop to just kind of block out my rough pencils. And then I'm going over it with an actual pencil brush uh, you know, just a stock generic one, um, and then kind of rendering it out to get this sort of old timey look to it. I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is definitely a different style than I usually work in. Um, usually I'm working in, uh, basically like I'm usually working in inks that are, you know, straight black and white. And in this case, I am actually, um, changing up the style since it's for a pitch. So hopefully once I get these done, these vlogs and my live streams and stuff like that, we'll get back to um, talking about Two Stories Book Two, um, which is my graphic novel about faith and mental illness um, that I hand letter, hand write, and hand ink. Uh, this one I'm digitally doing just to change up the style to fit the story a little more. It just made more sense since it's a story that takes place in like the Victorian era and it's got like seances and a lot of scenes that are going to require a lot of like grays and a lot more depth allowed. Um, and it just makes a lot more sense to have these uh, done that way. So that's what I'm doing here. You'll notice I usually start with the contour line of the object and then I go in with rendering after the fact. Um, and here we are, we're getting closer and closer to finish on it. Um, overall, I feel like today was very productive. I'm glad to have gotten some uh, stuff done and I'm glad to have gotten this off my plate before the Indie Review Show with our guest host, Gary Hodges, that's gonna to be tonight. And you can check that out at irsagency.com. But I do feel like I got what I needed to get done, done. And, uh, and I'm hoping that this will hopefully get there, um, get, get basically what I need accomplished um, for, for the following days. So what's funny too is uh, I recorded, <laughs> Benji saw me recording uh, this morning for like 10 minutes and then he wanted to record his own song and so he made this really fascinating song that we're uh, gonna have to um, at some point I'll post maybe on the next vlog or something but it's pretty hilarious.
So uh, he also like samples like the Final Fantasy theme because he's really obsessed with Final Fantasy since he saw his dad um, working on it, uh, playing on it when I got an NES emulator a while ago. So in this case, what I do is I tend to, once I have the contours worked out, I kind of start rendering it out much like you would with a pencil or with an airbrush. Um, I'm not going for like full out rendering or like full out like perfectly worked out lighting or anything like that. It's just like a passable level of rendering that I'm aiming for on these. Um, and I think there's a slight delay on what's going on for a second there because I took a break. So I'm rendering out uh, the eyes. I always feel like it's really important on these to uh, get a really good view of the eyes and what's going on with those. And from there, like, you know, kind of work out the rendering and, um, and, and and stuff because once you have the eyes kind of working I feel like you kind of can get the portrait so here I am getting closer to finished on this and uh, like I said it's it's actually a day where I feel like I got a lot done and uh, and that's that's a hard thing to kind of do um, amid all the other crazy projects I also have some freelance that I would like to get started on uh, maybe tonight after the indie review show and so like it was really important for me to have gotten this accomplished at this time. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of go in and start rendering out the hands and you'll notice this goes a lot faster. By the way, this whole thing is sped up from the actual speed um, in order to create this because these things take time to create. And, uh, and, and I mean, that's just the way it goes. But I am really excited about this kind of fine art approach to um, doing these uh, these pitch pages, and I am really eager to see whether um, you know publishers are interested in it as well, based on the way it works. So, just kind of finishing out the rendering, and then we'll just see where we go from there. Um, thanks to those of you who have watched these videos and have hit the subscribe and the bell and uh, you know can get notifications for when I'm about to go live next or when there's a new video. And also if you haven't, I really would highly encourage you to check out um, Two Stories, book one from Marcosia, which you can order on Amazon. And uh, that should hopefully, um, you know, help me continue to make comics and be able to do videos like this that are kind of like process videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm also curious, uh, let me know what you think in the comments of this uh, different style. And then also uh, definitely in the comments, let me know what you think of the, uh, the song that I posted. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun to be creative and kind of chase creativity and make sure that you're constantly feeding that creative need that we all have as artists. I think it's really important. So uh finishing this up i will say like one thing that's really important when rendering like this is to not go in too strong and especially for gradiated edges you want to work from light to dark um, in areas where it's like a short transition from light to dark it makes sense to uh basically um go ahead and get that transition going quicker because you know the area you know basically beyond the straight black is going to go to just a straight black color fill. And so, uh, so yeah, so here we are making progress on um, the whole, uh, I think I must have taken a break at that point. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm making progress on the jacket. And then once I have the character blocked out, um, what I'll do is make another layer and you're gonna see that. Um, often, like if there's a, a, a tight edge where I need uh, to have like, you know, like a, a solid line without the speckles of the um, of the brush that I'm using kind of overlapping it. What I'll do is do it on another layer so I can then go over it and erase away um, without affecting that straight line, but I can still have it meet that edge. So there's a couple ways you can do that. One is the kind of cheap way that I'm doing on these. The other would be uh, drawing out masks um, to kind of do that uh, that within and again I think this like kind of dead area is probably I'm probably making my son lunch or something <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so um, 
Once that's blocked out though, you're gonna notice that, like, see the beauty of doing that? It's on a different layer, so I can have it overlap that lapel, and I'm not worried about that hard edge. I can kind of just go back and erase over it without affecting the line underneath. Um, and uh, that kind of allows for like a, a crisper edge and a little more uh, looseness and freedom with, with kind of like the final um, stuff. So here I'm gonna just work out the background. And in this case, I'm just thinking about vague lighting, but luckily it's a dimly lit room. So it's more like trying to kind of loosely map uh, what is gonna be getting hit by light. I think my light source is clearly from the table. Um, and then also from above on the top right, there's a little bit of ambient light. And so that's what I'm kind of thinking when rendering this. But the nice thing is this is a close-up panel, so the focus is less on the background as it is on the characters. And so I'm trying to kind of keep the background uh, really hidden in shadow as much as possible. What you see here is uh, when I have overlapping um, shading and I'm trying to kind of view like between the two layers, what I'll often do is turn down the transparency so that where it overlaps, it's like a darker black so I can see my edge and see the areas that I need to clean my line around. So that's kind of what's happening here. Um, and I hope like this sort of process video is helpful. Let me know in the comments section whether it's helpful to have this or whether you would prefer to just kind of see like a speed painting, uh, very super sped up video that's beyond sped up from this. I think this was about an hour and a half total, but I can, it is in my capability to like speed this up to about a minute and uh, just show you the, uh, the visuals. So that'll do it. Um, and that's it for my vloggings.